Hello everyone, I am Dr. Vikas Sharma. I am a skin specialist and hair transplant surgeon. Today in this video we will be talking about nail fungal infection. We will discuss what is nail fungal infection, what are the causes of this problem and we will also discuss what is the treatment of nail fungal infection. I will tell you all about the medicines which are used in treating nail fungal infections. Nail fungal infection also known as onychomycosis or tinea unguum, it can affect your fingernails as well as your toenails. Now let us try to understand what are the causes of this infection. This infection can be caused by either dermatophytes or yeasts or molds which are three different types of fungi. Now it is important to find out which fungus exactly is infecting your nail because the treatment depends on it. There are different medicines which kill these different types of fungi. So your doctor may do a culture sensitivity test from your nail to find out the exact nature of fungus and the medicines which can be used to kill that fungus. Now let us try to understand how does it look like. So nail fungal infection can cause many changes in and around your nails. It can change the color of your nails. So your nails may appear yellowish, brown, black, white or if there is any secondary bacterial infection they may also appear greenish. Then the nail plate that is the thick part of the nail becomes thicker and at the same time it becomes more fragile so it will break very easily, it will crumble very easily when it comes in contact with something. Also the skin under your nail may become infected so you may see that the area under your nail has become thicker and it crumbles very easily also you may see some yellow or skin colored particles coming out of that area. Then the skin around your nail may also become swollen, red or painful. Also we see commonly that when the nail is infected the hands or the feet that means the skin of the hands or the feet is also infected simultaneously. Now let us try to understand what all are the reasons for getting nail fungal infection. Why some people get it more frequently than others. So one reason is vigorous manicure or pedicure. It can damage the protective structures around your nails for example the cuticle which makes it easier for the fungus to invade the surface under your nail. Then there are other reasons for example we see commonly that people whose hands are wet because of either household work or frequent hand washing or their feet are wet because of prolonged swimming or a sauna or a prolonged shower it makes it easier for the fungus to enter the surface under your nail. If you are wearing very tight shoes it can traumatize your great toe nail and you may get a nail fungal infection. Also if there are any diseases which are lowering your immunity for example diabetes or HIV or there are any medicines that you are taking which are lowering your immunity there are high chances that you may get a nail fungal infection. If there is any pre-existing nail disease for example nail psoriasis that also increases the risk of getting a nail fungal infection. Then if you have fungal infection anywhere else in your body for example if you have fungal infection of groins and you are using your nails to scratch that area that may also infect your nails. Now let us try to understand how a nail fungal infection is detected. So sometimes clinical examination may not be enough to detect a nail fungal infection and certain tests may be required. For example a nail cuvette scraping may be required. So in this test a small piece of your nail or nail clippings are sent to a lab where the nail is dissolved in potassium hydroxide and it is observed under a microscope where fungal elements are seen and it confirms the diagnosis. Then there are certain tests known as culture and sensitivity tests. In this also clippings of your nail are sent to a lab. Then we try to grow the fungus on a petri dish and find out what the fungus is and how it can be killed which all are the medicines which are effective against this fungus. Then rarely a nail biopsy may also be required. Now you have to understand that these tests they are not 100% accurate. So even if these tests turn out to be negative your doctor may still choose to treat your nail fungal infection. Now let's discuss how a nail fungal infection is treated. So oral tablets or capsules form a very important part of treatment. There are mainly four types of medicines which are used for treating a nail fungal infection. Terbinafine, itraconazole, fluconazole and griseofalvin. Let's first talk about terbinafine. Terbinafine comes in a tablet form. It is given in a daily dose and usually it is given for 6 weeks for fingernail infections and around 12 weeks for toenail infections. This is because a fingernail replaces itself faster and the toenail typically takes longer to replace. Itraconazole can be given in two forms. 
one method of giving itragonazole is where the patient takes the medicine for only one week in a month it can be given for two such cycles for fingernails and three such cycles for toenails the second method of giving itragonazole is where the patient takes the tablet or capsule daily in this the medicine may be used for around 6 weeks for fingernails and for around 12 weeks for toenails then the next medicine is fluconazole fluconazole is typically given once a week it can be given for 3 to 6 months for fingernails and for 6 to 12 months for toenails next medicine that is used is griseofulvin it is used very less commonly nowadays because of the availability of better drugs but it can be used for 6 to 12 months to treat nail fungal infections then some patients when they visit us they either are not able to take tablets or they don't want to take oral medicines and they want something to apply so for local application creams are not usually effective because they are not able to penetrate the thick nail plate there are special preparations known as nail lacquers they can be kept on nail for prolonged periods of time and they are able to penetrate the nail plate they are not very effective by themselves but they do provide a good effect or a faster resolution when combined with oral tablets there are mainly two types of nail lacquers which are available one is cyclopyrox olamine and the second is amorolfin they need to be applied to your nails and they are left there for prolonged periods and there is a specific method with which they are applied on the nails so whenever you visit your doctor for consultation he or she will explain it to you in detail for people who are unable to take tablets nail lacquers can be used alone for treating the nail fungal infection it can be used for a period of around 6 to 12 months for treating the nail fungal infection then there are other methods which are being studied for example ndiag laser which has been found to be effective in treating nail fungal infections then there are some other methods for example your doctor may choose to remove part or the whole of the nail if the whole nail is infected to treat the fungal infection and reduce the disease burden these methods are typically combined with oral antifungal medicines also because if oral antifungal medicines are not used the disease can come back so in this video we have tried to tell you everything about nail fungal infections if you still have any questions or if there is something in your mind that you want to know about nail fungal infection you can ask me in the comment section below i will try to reply to all your questions please subscribe to our channel and for more such videos and information please click on the bell icon you can also follow us on facebook twitter and instagram Thank you.